Hello guys, Ollie here, and today we're going to be reviewing and doing a top, well, I wouldn't say top speed, but max power build of the new Bugatti, what came in a May DLC pack just yesterday. Sorry I didn't upload this yesterday, because I had some technical issues with my headset again, because it's absolutely great, yeah. So anyway, let's jump into this, the windows are hideous, indeed, and the car itself is really bad. I'm not sure I like the Bugatti, never have. But still. So, oh, is he gonna just move? No. Oh, great. Okay. Never mind then. So, continuing with that. Move out this way because he's hardcore. Change my settings quick. For God's sake. We. Alright, so I'm gonna change my settings so all you people can see the map and the speed it's doing. Because it might be a bit hard to see the speedometer for you. Whatever. It's on now. So. Good fun. Good, good fun. Also going to change that to the bias. No damage as well, because I've had enough of people just crashing into me because it's boring. Right. So yeah, even the speed camera just got 140, so that's not even fast. Comparing it to another car, um, I think it would be compared to a that Ferrari 360 or whatever it is that you get on the first showcase event. I think it is. Yeah, handling's okay. So. Yeah, good fun. Very, very good fun. <sighs> da, 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 da. It's not the fastest car in the world, as it's supposed to be, anyway. N not the best looks, not the best interior. But, the only thing you can say if you do own one in real life is, I've got a Bugatti. Good for them. <laughs> so. I regret saying that the handling was okay, because just then the understeer was real, as some people call it. <laughs> it was real. So, yeah, so it's got the worst acceleration ever. Seems though it's even four-wheel drive as well. So, see you in a minute. And oh my God, look at that! We just happened to teleport without anybody hey, noticing. So now you? we're going to do a. Max upgrade on this car. My dog won't shut up because it's demented, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, it was taking me just to do this again. Oh, the wait. The waiting. The waiting. So. Yeah, also, please leave a comment in the description box for what car you would like to see. If you look on my other video, what shows you all the cars of Forza Horizon 2, you can see all of them, obviously, and then just vote on one of them, which you would like me to do. The most voted for will obviously be reviewed, then it will continue from that again and again and again and again and again. So, yeah, so by the end of this year as well, I'm hoping to get at least 500 videos plus. So. I would like more support from you guys so then I can actually make that because there's no point really making anything if no one's watching it. So, yeah, I've already got brakes for safety because I didn't want to crash into many, many things. Yep, anti roll bars. Press on the wrong thing. Anti roll bars again. Weight reduction. Just let my dog out. Oh, right. How oh, fun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> press on the wrong thing. Yes, yeah, so the rating for this car isn't high either. You can even see it's not even kind of the middle of S2. See, so, yeah, it's agreeably quite bad. Especially the fact that you have the biggest tyres possible on it, but that's what it requires. 
as you see here, very very big. <laughs> Put some new wheels on. What won't look demented on here. There, they're fine. Yeah, still not sure about the looks. Ooh, big. Yeah, I'm still not sure about the looks on this. There's the front wing from the normal falls category category catalogue. Yeah, it goes to X class if you put rear wheel drive on it or the normal Veyron engine in. Let's go drive this then. Fun fun fun. Yeah, so now we're gonna do an absolutely brilliant test drive. <laughs> Ooh. I would like to challenge them. So now we're going to do a race against a 650S. That's brilliant. Yeah, because that's in S2. I think non upgraded, so. No, I'm blocking him now. Epic blockage. Right, let's go. We can see how it stacks up against a normal modern super slash hypercar. I won't say hypercar, just supercar. Right, off we go. Yeah, it's not... Oh. I think I should break a bit more. That, that was kind of cheating. I'll be nice to him. I'll break a lot here. Oh. Okay. Epic power slide by him, but... Yeah, the handling is improved massively. The acceleration's about like the Mercer Largo now. The handling's much better on that corner. The handling is not much better. I'm on the grass. There's the finish. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I got a good, decent amount from that, but the XP was crap. 58-1. I really do not do these challenges. So, right now, I'm going to go test some more schnitzel. Oh, God. I think it's okay-ish for power sliding, but only just does it. So, hmm. Whatever. Good for it. The, the acceleration out the corners now is much, much better in every way. I'm starting to like this car as well, with how it is now. Still don't like the looks or the interior at all. Or the sound lag that keeps on happening. Yeah, pick waiting. See, I wait for my peasants. Yeah, the handle in that corner was quite good. And while I'm driving right now, I'm actually looking at my computer. It says my latest video, The Perfect Road Trip, has been blocked in some countries. I wonder why. <laughs> right. Right, that was the best driving ever. Do not look at a laptop and that at the same time. <laughs> right. Ah, it's not very good at drifting. Or anything for that. Right, let's go close to the edge without falling off. Ah, yeah, we actually did it. How surprising. Go between them two lorries. Is they large trailers? Containers, whatever. Alright, so that concludes the video. Thanks for watching and hope you subscribe, like and share. See you later.